Ken Ken Selville here today looking at uh, uh, bringing out the tropicals from storage and so we tend to uh, store a lot of our tropicals in the basement we do have some large windows there so we put them right close to the windows for the winter but we tend to keep them quite a bit on the dry side uh, except for uh, a few plants that we know they need a little extra water but uh, most of the plants are succulent like this Bocarnia uh, Bocarnia recurvata is one of my favorite plants and this one I've had since about uh, 1988 I think when I got this one. It's got three, at least three large, uh, they call this a bottle palm. So I'll get a, a shot of the uh, the bottles on this one but that's okay. Uh, but I just want to show you, this. it's typical of the Bocarnias that they get a lot of this dead stuff on the bottom, especially through storage. But this should just should just peel right off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through all, all of this and peel off the, uh, the dead stuff from over winter. And uh, this is quite normal in nature, of course, to have a lot of dead material on them, but uh, not the prettiest thing in the middle of winter, but that's why we put it down in the basement. It's also, this guy, he got attacked by one of our cats <laughs> in the cat attacked it quite a bit and chomped the top pretty much right off it but it's going to get going again and it'll it'll shoot up and uh, i'll probably have more uh, videos on this particular plant later on in the season once these things start to grow so pulling off all that dead stuff is part of making it look good and uh, this one hasn't had water i think maybe since about christmas time it's now uh 24th of may long weekend uh, the one thing is when you move plants from inside to outside, you have to realize that the, the leaves that are coming out, like even though they look lovely and healthy, they're not really adapted to the full sun yet. So uh, when we do move them outside, we expect that there's going to be uh, some sunburn that's going to happen on these leaves. And uh, I think I actually have a plant that has a bit of sunburn leaves left from last year that I can show you. But, uh, but anyway... Um, these plants really, they need to get used to the sunlight. So even though this one's got the tip that's sitting right out in the full sun, I've got this shade structure of pergola here. So I'm gonna actually rotate this a bit, at least just temporarily, until it gets into a bit of shade here. So now by rotating it, now I've got the whole plant in, in partial shade. So the tip's in shade, all the growing tips are in shade now. So I'll leave it like that for today. Tomorrow, I'll give it a little bit more. That's the beauty of having a pergola where you have this dappled sunlight. It's just perfect for adapting plants to this change in, uh, in light intensity. Uh, after about, uh, maybe about four to five weeks, the plants, they develop the ability to handle the sun and then you can move them into more of a sunnier location. So, um, just fabulous. I'm so glad that this, <laughs> this time of year has finally come. It's been a cold spring. So um, it's been a while getting, uh, <laughs> we've been really hoping we can get all of our plants outside because we have a lot of plants and they fill up a lot of space. So we're just going to walk over this way here. We're going to have a quick look at a few things. Um, and we're bringing out our beans. We, what you might have heard on some of my previous videos about starting the beans inside. You can see these are climbing pole beans. So I'll always get them started inside. It really gives you a quick start once you get them out. Um, there's also peppers we have started and our, our, our uh, tomato plants. So the tomato plants themselves, uh, again, they've been growing indoors. So we get them out here in the shade structure in the pergola to get them used to the moving air. You can see the wind blowing them around. They're not used to that either. So they have to get adapted to living outside. But just a little bit of sunlight. But I'm definitely not going to take these and put them straight out in the hot sun. Definitely not. Uh, this is my uh, this is my epiphyllum. Um, this particular one's been in quite a few videos in the past, and uh, it, this one has a beautiful, large, sort of a fuchsia-colored uh, flower. It's one of my favorites. Um, and uh, this particular one has been inside all winter. It's uh, it's just it really wants to get growing. It's got lots of new shoots coming on it, but it's going to be happy to get back outside where it can uh, start to perform. And then hopefully we'll get quite a few blooms on it this year. So a lot of these orchid cactuses just bloom freely whenever they feel like it. So there's not an exact timing on these. So over here uh, is our jade plant. And this jade plant has been inside in the living room all winter. 
and uh, it's quite a beauty. I really like it, but it, it just it's just getting too big to be in the house. This one's also had a, a couple bouts with mealy bugs. I did a video earlier on mealy bugs. You can check that out. And this is a plant that, that had them. There's still a few on there, but you know, as soon as I get them outside and they get into the into the natural environment. There's cooler temperatures, there's more temperature fluctuations, so the mealybugs are not multiplying as quickly. Like when they're inside the house, they just multiply like crazy because we have this really even temperature. But once they're outside, the mealybugs kind of slow down a bit, but best yet is we have wasps and we have other insects that are coming to eat those mealybugs. So by just moving them outside, we've got, uh, we've got natural pest control. Especially in our garden, it's so full of flowers. Remember, lots of flowers means lots of beneficial insects. So um, just something to watch for. So uh, this guy, even though these guys live in the desert, I still have to adapt it. I'm gonna turn this one a little bit. I've got it in this location where it's a little bit shaded and, and the sun's moving this way. So it's gonna become in full shade here within just about another half an hour. So another giant plant that we have is our uh, Epiphyllum oxypetalum, and uh, this plant is, it's a monster. It was growing up and growing across the ceiling inside the house. Now we've got it outside. I've got to give it a good soak, um, give it some extra water, and uh, just uh, welcome it to the outdoors. So I've got it right up tight against the wall here. And I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do with the bad hair day stuff up top. But um, these guys, they are super fast growing, so they can grow about uh, six or eight feet in a single year quite easily. So I just keep chopping them off and I'm bending them around, trying to keep it, keep it on the trellis. Um, but when this one blooms, I don't know if you've seen my videos on this thing when it blooms, it's beautiful, super fragrant, huge white flowers. These guys bloom only at night, so they're pollinated by bats. So very cool plant and uh, beautiful and fragrant. So we've got all kinds of other plants here that we'll be talking about, but it's really this thing about getting the plants outside in the springtime and, and, and getting them used to the temperatures. You gotta watch the nighttime temperatures. Any plants that are tropicals, they really don't like to go below about maybe, maybe 10 or eight degrees Celsius, somewhere around there. So they have to have quite a few degrees above freezing. Even getting close to freezing is a bit of a shock for them. Uh, so anyway, I'm just putting it out there that uh, you know you need to be uh, cautious when you're moving plants inside and out and They will adapt, but it takes about three or four weeks for them to get used to it So again, the pergola is the secret. That's what gives you the uh, the best results because it gives you that dappled sunlight That really helps to adapt the plants gradually to the full Sun So that's it for today. Thanks very much for tuning in to Grower Coach